Hello, anyone, everyone, and no one. Welcome back to another season of a Truly Bedrock. And yes, that would indicate a new season, as I said there. And that that's 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 a mountain. That's a mountain. There's more mountains. And to be truthful, there, there's something more interesting that's 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 on my plate right now. There's a big cave. There's a big cave down there, people. And there's a mine shaft. And all I've got on me is a, a golden helmet, iron boots, and like stone stuff. Sh shall we go adventuring? It sounds like a plan to me. Let, 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 let's 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 work our way down there, shall we? How does one <laughs> work their way down into Big Cave? How does one work their way down into Big Cave? This season of Truly Bedrock, we are now in 1.18. So we are in Caves and Cliffs, and Ruru was just slain by a blaze. And do I, do I got iron? I have a little bit of iron. You know what? Why don't we just see if we can acquire up a bucket here? That would be the most logical way to see if we can get down inside of this cave so that we can get, you know, more iron and things so we can gear it out, get geared out so we do not die. Do not die. Now, as far as this season goes, what are we going to be doing? I don't know yet, to be fair with you. I have no clue at all. I just know it's the start of a new season. And one of the most interesting things about the start of a new season is getting geared out. Getting geared out. And that's going to be different because in Caves and Cliffs now, we now have the world height changes and depth changes. The world goes down to what? Like negative 60 now? It's absolutely insane. It's insane. And I don't know how we're going to deal with that. But what we are going to do here is we're going to grab this bucket. We're going to knock that out there. We're going to pick this up here. And now we need some water. Hmm. Everything's fine, right? Everything's fine. Yep. I say everything's fine. I say everything's fine. And I guarantee you, in about 30 seconds, when I have to turn around and go back up through here, I'm not going to be happy about it. Not going to be happy about it at all. Can, can we just have a cave entrance over here? What's that? D no, I don't want a water cave. I don't... Mm, oh, maybe the water cave will lead to something. Leave? Lead. Lead to another cave? Hello? Water cave? Anything interesting aside more water? Um. Hmm. That's, that's torches from somebody else already. Well, that's not quite what I had planned. Because if somebody else is done down here... Hmm. Hmm. How far did someone else go, though? Because there's no more torches. Did they abandon their quest? I'm insane. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go looking around. Nope. Is that another torch? Nope. That's glow lichen. Is it a dead end? Did, did, did we follow a dead end? Come on. Come on. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get down here. These new caves are definitely going to be interesting. You know, with the previous season of Truly Bedrock, we already got a lot of experience with seeing a lot of these new blocks. But this, whoa, is not, ow! Oh my goodness, that hurt a lot. Nothing like what we had generate. Oh God, I hear an Enderman. That is the last thing that I need right now. You know what? Let's let, let's block this area in. We done gathered up a little bit more iron. And I'm not, I'm not being chicken. You're, you're being chicken. Okay. I'm not being chicken. You're the one being chicken. And let's, you know, um, can, can we get some armor please? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. You know, there's a lot of mobs around here, people. There's, I'm hearing a lot of mobs and we literally got water above our heads. I've, I've chosen an excellent place for home. Just an absolutely excellent place for home here. I, I couldn't be more ecstatic about it. And mm, this 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 is the epitome of a good start. I'm just saying, let's let's get a bed down and get our spawn set before we die, and then we lose everything. Mm -hmm. Yep, sounds good. I see you there, Mr. Creeper. Mm -hmm. I can see you looking at me while I'm looking at you as we're slowly adventuring away from our bed. Mm -hmm. I, I would really prefer if I could get in an event. Uh, you know what? Just do your thing. Yep, yep, yep. We're good. The one interesting thing that I've already noted about these changes with these caves is the fact that you can get down a lot deeper a lot quicker. Granted, it's very interesting. I mean, we're already at level four. We're already at level four. I am hearing mobs nonstop, though. 
we're already at level four and i'm just curious if this will open up into one of the new giant cave systems down below look at that look at all the room we've got here oh my god there's more iron slowly trying to get this all kitted out you know what let's go this way first hi um not interested don't don't touch me oh my god i'm swinging like i'm playing java there that's a good talk look at this there's mobs everywhere everywhere they changed the density of allowed mobs in bedrock 2 in this update we now, instead of eight, are allowed 16 cave mobs. Actually, they changed that a couple of updates ago, but, you know, Truly Bedrock was not up to date, per se. So we hadn't got to experience this change yet, and now I'm getting to. So this 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 could be interesting. Are you going to open up into a big cave? Please? Please, cave? Please? Please. Oh, 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 what do we got? Oh, oh, little bit, hmm. Hmm. Hi. Right. Oh, 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 fancy, fancy. That's mine. Hey, watchful, watchful, watchful. Can, can we get the celebratory music? C come on, man. Get get the good celebration going on. Can, can we can we get some fanfare and everything? Are we ready? Are we ready? Th thank you, watchful. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's not even enough for a pick. Right. We'll do that again in a minute, Watchful, okay? Okay. I'll tell you right now, though, if you go to build a mob farm now, you better build it up high, because if you go to build it down low, you are going to be dealing with a lot of mob proofing. The caving is going to be insane. Insane. I don't know. I heard a rumor or two. Ooh, we're going to need some of that eventually that they even changed how spawning works. I know it used to work from top down on Bedrock. Now that might just be a rumor. If anybody out there actually knows, if you know if they changed how the spawning works, if it's now from bottom up, let me know down below because I am out of date on that. I am out of date on that and I don't even know the answer to that question. But if they've now made spawning where it works the opposite way, uh, excuse me, I don't need candles, I need torches then a mob farm at the bottom of the world would be potentially nice, but you would have to do a metric ton of cave lighting or perimeter digging. And this stuff right here, this deep slate, yeah, that does not make for fun digging. There is no insta mining on deep slate, which is going to make perimeters an interesting thing if people bi do big ones. Hmm, who's going to be the first one that wants to go through a bajillion deep slate to say that they've dug all the way down? Not me! Oh, God. Nope, not what I want. 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 Nope, 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 Goose Fraba. Goose Fraba. Oh, I love the beginning of Minecraft. Yep, yeah, I love the start of a new world. I love the start of a new world. Where are you at? Where are you at? You bringer of death. Where are you? Hello, where are you? Okay, you're trapped back there. Oh, I gotta go that way. No, don't you ha ha me. Stop throwing potions at me! D did you just poison yourself? You poison. You can't even see me. Oh, oh, you're all you're all having issues. Okay. You know what? You all just kind of deal with your own thing. I'm going to come over here and we're going to hope that you all don't notice me as I come over here and I'm like, hi, go away. I'm trying to work here. I want to go back to my little room up there and get completely armored out before we go any further. Just, just, just say, I, I want, I want, I want. I want, I want my little room back, please. Please. Oh, I just heard some piece of armor break. That was good. That was good. Yep. Back in here. Back. Everything's fine. Back Back in here. Yep. Ah. Oh, sweet hove. Oh. Great. My helmet's gone. Good talk. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. We now, look at this fanciness, have a diamond chest plate, diamond pick, 
and the diamond shovel okay we got food we got a water bucket and we got some shears now you might ask why did i grab the shears well in case there's any of that like and stuff around this this I, I want to does that work yes it does i want to start collecting that stuff as well now i just want to get back out of here that's literally the next thing on my list is getting back out of here and where did we even come down from how did we even get into this cave um i i i genuinely don't know at this moment did we come from this way i would like to return home or rather, I would like to see the surface again so that we can go find that big, big cave. So, 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 I've been sitting here thinking. I've been looking at this cave, and this cave is absolutely amazing. But I'm, I'm not getting nowhere with it. I, I am getting nowhere with this thing because of the new mob mechanics and everything like that. And excuse me, Mr. Cow, what? You, no, don't, don't say nothing, and that wouldn't have happened. So what are we going to do about that? Well, as I said, I've been thinking. I've got a I've got a claim on here, just like everybody else. Everybody always tries to make their claim on what they want, the area they're going to base at in the long run, and everything like that. And you know what? I want to head over there. I want to head over there because I want to get a furnace array going now, now, like yesterday, like now, yesterday. I I, I want my cheaty furnace. Okay, I, I won't lie to you. the The start of a new world is a blast. It is. It's great. And I am looking forward to getting into the Caves and Cliffs update. The update, okay? We, 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 we had an interesting seed last season. I'm just putting that out there. I've already experienced all the new blocks and everything. I, I, I had the gear. I don't have the gear. I need the gear. I, I need the gear. I need the gear. And last season, I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to use GD Furnace Array, and I'm not going to do fish. Yes, I'm going to do it all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go AFK fish, and I'm going to go set up a GD Furnace Array, and I'm going to get many, many experience so that I can get many, many enchantments so I can actually get, you know, into the game. So let's, let's go find our area, shall we? So here we are pretty much. Here we are pretty much. I'm looking around trying to determine where I want to base and what I want to do with it. Because I have, I, I may have said earlier, or I may not have said earlier, I don't have any for sure plans. But I have some ideals. I have some ideals, and I'm not sure what I want to do. But as I said, yes, the, the one thing we need, the furnace array. We, we need the thing, so we can get the things, so we can get the experience, so that we can get the enchanting, so that we can not go insane. And if I remember correctly, oh no, it's not like I already looked at the seed somewhere else. Uh, there's a village over there. So let's, let's, let's head over that way, shall we? Well, we made it over here to the village. And to be fair, I'm genuinely shocked that it hadn't been raided. Now, of course, I've started to raid the thing down. As you can see here, I've broken all the crops and everything. I think I have cleared out most of the beds and workstations, except for maybe that house there and that house there. I've got to do a bit more, but what I am working on at the moment is kind of getting me a base of operations established here. And, you know, this this is going to be our super smelter. Mm -hmm. This is going to be our XP, you know, cheaty furnace array. And, of course, I've done crammed a couple villagers down here in a hole. We've got a library in here which we got to get sugar cane we can row the trades later and lock it in and we've got a farmer so i potentially want to get a crop field set up around here in due time so it's it's the beginning grind stage it's something you've all seen before we've all experienced it we've all done it so it's just i i i got to do it i got to do it i want to expand this back a little bit maybe Butt it out against the wall a little bit. Give me a little bit of room to breathe. Get some chest involved in that. And knock down some of this. You know, there, there's random dirt everywhere. We need to get these houses situated out. Because to be fair, I, I don't I don't want a village here. And you know what? Instead of chopping down trees at first, why don't we just chop down all this? Don't, don't, don't judge me. Oh, I hear zombies. I hear zombies. You know what? Let's just get all this cleared out. Let's get all these villagers houses knocked down. See how many villagers we can get over here in the hole. And get get some basics, shall we? I was I was looking around here. I did some cleaning out of the villages. As you can see, I've knocked down a few things. I've knocked down a couple of the houses. And uh, I've got a little bit of a minor, minor, minor problem. Oh, 
minor, mine, minor, mine. Yeah, that, that would be my problem. I want to create an AFK fish farm. I want to get that, not sorter, furnace. Furnace going. I need iron. I need iron. All the iron that I gathered, what gathered a while ago ended up going towards armor. We need to find a cave. We need to find a cave. And we need to do a little bit of caving. So, that being said, this time, this time, let's gather up some wood before we get down inside of a cave. Let's see if there's any more of food we can take with us. Because if we're going down there this time, we're, we're going down there for a while. We're, we're not coming back up until we have a full inventory or we die. And I don't know about you, but I don't plan on dying. Hi, I seen you. Yep, yep, I seen you. Please don't, 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 don't eat my face. Don't eat the lizard. Okay, no, you go away. I, I appreciate your concern. No, stop it. Stop it. Oh my God. All your friends. I, I don't need all your friends. I don't. Go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's just it's just mobs everywhere. It's mobs everywhere. It's just mobs galore now. Is 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 this is this a new game? Mobcraft? What in the world is what is this? Just please blow them all up. Please, 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 please. Oh my goodness. It's just mobs everywhere. Yeah, uh, uh, creepers and skeletons and zombies and tigers and bears. Will you stop hitting me? Please! I am trying to do things here. That's right, y'all fight amongst yourselves. Fight. Did you really just shoot me in the back? I'm, I'll hurt you. i hurt you. i hurt you. I killed you. I killed you. Right, back over here to my corner. Uh, all right, let's, 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 let's plan this again. Yep, y'all, y'all want to give me time to heal, will you? Y'all, y'all want to, fine. Y'all want something? Come get it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, let's, let's do this. Me and you and all your friends right down the tunnel of death here. Come on. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! This is th stop hitting me! <laughs> no, no, no! That's a creeper. That's a slime. That's a spider. Oh my god! Get me out of here! <laughs> stop touching me! <laughs> I'm making a mob switch. <laughs> you know. <laughs> One of the first priorities in this update <laughs> might be making a mob switch. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, is my inventory already full? What's it full of? Junk. Junk. Here, we'll combine our junk bowls. We'll get a little bit better one. Oh, silk touch shovel. I'm not even worried about that. Yeah. Why? Why did I even worry about that? Jeez. Clay. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't. I don't. I don't. Hi. Can I... <laughs> Can I get a minute? Can I get a minute? Please. Oh my god. Just blow up. Just thank you. Ah, I love this. You may think I'm complaining, but I genuinely love this. This is awesome. Hi, little dude. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, there's a mine shaft over there. Oh, there's creepers and. <laughs> love it! Please, please, come on, come at me, bro. <laughs> come at me, bro. <laughs> you can't kill me. Okay, I take it back. Please, please don't kill me. Please. <laughs> Turn my back. I place two torches and turn around. There's like ten more mobs coming at me. What is with this? This is I love it. I love it. I don't need to go mining. I just need to go caving with with about ten swords. I already have twenty seven levels. We just need an enchanting station now. Oh dear God! There's mobs everywhere. This is the the the, the, the last update made um farms redundant all you needed to do was cave now this update they're like oh you wanted to cave last update now we'll just fill the caves with tons of mobs we can't win i love it I, look where 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 did you come from no oh i'm here on my armor break oh get out of here get out of here run
Run! Run, you fool! Oh, your armor's breaking. I just heard it break. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so far underground. Where am I going to run to? Where am I going to run to? Away from that baby. That's all I know. Get away from that. We'll figure it out from there. There. Back to the water channel. I think we need... I think we need a fort cave. Hi! Yeah, I see you! And you see me? I'm losing the armor. So if you give me a few minutes, I'll be with you, okay? You stay there! I'll be with you in about ten minutes. Well, I think... I think that's all I'm going to mine at this moment in time. I think that's all I'm going to mine. I don't have much to show for it, except for, once again, broken armor. <laughs> once again, broken armor. But I'll tell you this, living off of glowberries is not fun. It's not fun at all. So, let's gather up everything that we can that's important, and let's take it all back up to the surface. Let's get it all smelted down and see what we got. Maybe we can get that furnace, get it, get it, get it, get it, that, that's, that's the word of the day. Get it down in the comment section, however you spell it, just do it, get it done, get it, get it, yep. Right, let's get it the stuff and get back up top, shall we? So amazing, a super smelter of doom is now up and we've got some potatoes running through this thing so we can get some food established. That being said, if we come down here and hop down this ladder, you can see our still village, our still villagers, our villagers are still down here doing their own thing. Now I tried to automate a little bit of a crop farm and then my brain realized why this will not work because this guy, well, has a full inventory. As you've seen there, we picked up the poisonous potato, but these guys in here do not have clean, empty inventories. I tried to manipulate the situation by setting down a few extra beds and getting them to, you know, produce some babies to empty their inventories, and it did not work. So, we eventually need to go down to that zombie spawner that we found and get some zombie villagers and cure them. That way we can have some villagers with clean inventories, so they will throw food back and forth and we can get automated food farm. That's great and all. But, before we can do that, we need to go, you know, gather stuff once again. And we have this amazing smelter, as I said, but it's done run through all of its items. And we have not one piece of shiny equipment. But speaking of which, as you can see here, we've got obsidian and everything. Yes, let's go ahead and make an enchanting table. We have these few bookshelves right there from there. And it's not going to be a full, but it's something. It's something, right? I'm breaking two. I'm breaking two. I got to try for it. I got to try for it. It's only 12 levels. And holy mother of God, I was not expecting that. Only from 12 levels. Right. I'm breaking efficiency and silk touch. I am kind of happy about that. We can do something with that. Except for the fact everything we would mind would be silk touched. And uh, right. Um, Do we have any more diamonds so that we can try this once again? We've got four more diamonds. Now, of course, I saved our original pick. It's put into the box here. Eventually, I'd like to get that named and repaired, and that will be our memento pick. That will be probably our main pick of the season. That being said, let's attempt one more time to make an additional pick. I, I, I do like one with unbreaking and everything, but we need something that we can go mining with. It would be really nice if we could get like a Fortune 1 or anything, and we're just going to throw that back in there. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. And we're going to try this again. Unbreaking. Fortune 1. You know what? Unbreaking. Fortune 1. I, I, I will take it. It's going to be at least a little bit more resources. So, now that we have the pick, let's go do a one-hour mining session. That being said, last season during our mining sessions, we had a little bit of a guessing game where Slack would go out here and build you a custom tree. Now, trees may not be in order this season, but I do have a plan or two. I've been thinking about it since the start of this world, and if you would like a, let's just say, special build, make sure to get your guesses in down below. The person who gets the closest without going over will be the winner. And you can guess today on iron. How much iron are we going to get? Put your guesses down below. Let's go. 
Mining session turned out pretty good there. We have got a whole bunch of iron and hope you made your guesses down below because the answer is not going to be revealed in this episode. It'll be in the next episode. So you'll have to tune in there to find out and find out what the price is going to be. So that being said, all that is good and situated. We have many ores smelting now, down and now, and I pulled from the furnace to make sure that the Chidi furnace array is still working in 1.18. And of course it is, which is absolutely great. I went from 28 to 32 levels, then from 32 to 34, which is amazing. So it's time to start enchanting some gear. That just leads to one minor, minor, minor problem. We have, you know the cheaty furnace which is now working but we need bookshelves we need bookshelves so it's time to hunt down some cows so that we can get that situate dude really on on the tree on the tree is where you're at right now i said hunt down some cows i d you are not helping my situation here and you with the minion too good talk game appreciate it come on come on let, let the slack sleep come on look the villagers are going to sleep the sun is setting on the horizon over there. Just let the slack sleep, please. Let the... Fine. Well, I, I found, I came over here to that other village. Uh, hello, moon. Um, excuse me. You're, you're. That's not my fault. I'm just saying right now. Don't. No. Watchful. Tell the people it's not my fault. It's not. Wait, we're back in the real world now. That is my... F Not my fault! Anyways, we've now found this other village over here, which has many cows. And, you know what? We need the leather. Excuse me. I don't need the sheep. We need the leather. And all around here, there's hay bales. I've been collecting up all the hay bales. You know what? We're going to turn this all down into hay. We're going to raid uh, this village. We'll leave it in structural tact. I'm not going to destroy it. Or the villagers. And we're going to breed up the cows. We'll leave a couple. And we're going to clear them all out. And get as much leather as we can. To take back to base. So yeah. that, that That's a thing. And nope. Not a broken moon at all. Totally not Slack's fault. Just putting that out there everybody. Just putting that out there. So. um, Yeah. Yeah. You, you may have noticed the cobble thing there a while ago i wasn't sure but i've you know 100 percent decided now that this this is where i want to base this is where i want to base i have plans for this bay and this surrounding area so i've done run back over to the other area and gather up most of the good resources and i've done a little bit of mining and lighting around here but more importantly we, we've, we've got another one of these things going. We've got another one going. And as you can see here, it says 42 levels at the moment. And if we go ahead and just grab that out of there, yeah, already to 43. So I think it's safe to say that this thing is already working. But I think that right there is where I'm going to go ahead and call this one an episode. It's been an interesting start to the new season. Not sure where we're basing and what we're doing. Now there's a little bit of a plan, a little bit of a plan. So yes, we're gonna be moving forward from here on out. But don't forget to make your guesses down in the comment section down below on how many stacks of iron we got without going over. You can even guess down to the ingot, but if you go over, you will be disqualified. But that being said, that's right there where I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode. If you've enjoyed today's episode, make sure to drop a like. If you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing. But on that note, I'll catch all of you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.